Hey everyone, in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make some Valentine's Day cupcakes. So I've just got some of my white fondant and I'm going to roll it out <clears throat> for the cupcake toppers and I'm going to cut a variety of different um, shapes. So we're going to go for two plain circles, um, the circles with the frilled edge and then we're going to go for two love hearts as well. And when I'm making cupcakes, so I don't have to keep picking them up and moving them about. I just place them on one of the petal pads that I use for my flowers. And that just allows them to dry so that they're not floppy when you put them on. I'm using the back of my paintbrush just to put holes in the little frills. And then we're going to cut out the hearts. Once we've done the hearts, we're going to move on to make the teddy bears. So I've just got some more fondant and coloured it in a brown colour. Um, for the first teddy bear, if you just create a circle and then use your finger just to smooth around the edges, that's going to give us a really nice shape. And then we're going to just use, again, two smaller circles, as you can see there, for the ears. I'm just going to stick this onto the cupcake topper just using a little bit of water or edible glue. I'm using my vein tool just to create the indentation for the ears. And then we're going to take some of our brown and colour it a lighter brown. And we're going to stick this on the front then that's going to create the bear's nose area and mouth just using the stitching tool we're creating a line up the middle and the brush again just to create the two indentations for the eyes now this little teddy is going to be holding a love heart so we're going to create some little paws and i'm just taking some of the fondant and rolling it into sort of like a, a cylinder shape and then flattening one end and using my tool just to create the indentations for the fingers and using the back of the stitching tool to create a line for the mouth and we've just got some black fondant I'm going to use these for the eyes and a little bit for the nose as well now for the heart I want it to have quite a rounded edge so I've got some cling film and we're going to put Put this over the red that we've cut out and then cut out our heart shape and that's just going to give us a really nice rounded edge for the love heart we're going to stick this on front of on the front of the bear just with some water or edible glue and then put the arms around the top so it's holding the love heart i've got some of the white powder that people add to buttercream to make it whiter just to add a little bit of water to this and we're going to create the eyes, um, some light reflection in the eyes and again on the nose and then you can write whatever message you want to on the love heart. I'm just going to write I love you. You could use white paint if you wanted, it's just I prefer the look of um, this, it looks a bit like a chalk effect. And once you've painted this on, we're going to put some blusher on the little bear's cheeks. So again, I've just got some of my sugar flare dust and just using a brush just to paint that on. And that's our first cupcake topper made. Next, we're going to do a balloon. So again, I'm doing the same thing as before with the cling film over the fondant. And we're going to stick this onto one of, another one of our circles, just using some water. And then I'm going to take some light brown and we're going to roll this into, this is going to be the string that's holding the balloon up. And to hide that join, I've just rolled a tiny little bit of red fondant. I'm going to wrap that around the top and that's going to be sort of like the um, bottom of the balloon. Now I've got one of my stencils here that I've just imprinted on the love hearts. So you can see they're starting to come together now. And I'm going to write I love you on one of them. So I've got a mould that I use for my letters. I'll put the link in the description box. But I believe it is by Katie Sue. And just stick some extra hearts on the one with the balloon. I want a little white love heart just to stick on the balloon as well. And now I'm going to do two little bears giving each other a kiss. So similar as before, we're going to roll two brown balls and just using your finger to smooth around the edges so that it gives it a bit of a 3D shape. And we're going to stick these on just using a little bit of water. 
Now you want them to be almost touching because we are going to again use the lighter brown just to put on for the mouth area. So a little bit of water just to stick that on. I'm pushing it into place and then this is going to make the bear's heads actually touch. using the balling tool just to create the eye socket and then we're going to fill those in with some black balls like we did before and create the nose. Just using a tiny bit of water just to stick those in place. You don't want too much because then when you push the black in the water will spill out the eye. And we're just going to create our ears the same way that we did before so just little circles and we're going to flatten them and using our um, veining tool just to create that indentation that's going to create the fold in the ear and again just sticking those on with a little bit of water. We're going to create the bodies for the bears now so same as we did for the heads and we're just going to flatten those out slightly. Now you're not going to see too much of the heads because the bears are going to have their, uh, sorry too much of the bodies because the bears are going to have their arms around each other so it doesn't have to be too neat or too perfect. We're just going to put that on so the bellies are almost touching. And I just need to re-go over the bottom bit there where the bodies have actually come over the edge of the, the cupcake topper. So for the arms we're just going to create a sausage shape and flatten this down. I'm going to create a, an indentation for the thumb so we're going to cut out a little bit of a triangle. So you can see I'm flattening it but more at one side than the other because that's going to be the paw and we're going to pull that thumb out there. We're going to place this on and then place the other one so that it's coming slightly down. We want them to look like their arms are wrapped around each other. So you should start to have something that looks like this. And stick another little love heart above the bear's kissing. And again, just a little bit of blusher on each of the cheeks. Once we've done that one, we're going to go on to the little bouquet topper. So I've just taken some red fondant and we're going to roll it into a sausage shape and flatten one side. And then you're just going to wrap that around and it's going to create a little bit of a rose effect. So I'm flattening it just with, you can flatten it with your finger or with a, um, a rolling pin. And we're going to keep going until we've got quite a few and I've also cut out some little tiny um, flowers using one of my um, plunge cutters. And we're just going to roll some green fondant and that's going to create the stems for the flowers. And we're going to stick these on with a little bit of water. Just have a play around with the flowers until you're happy with where they all are. And once these are all stuck on, we can then go in to look at maybe putting on some little leaves or a bow on the front of the flowers. So for the leaves, we're just going to roll out some tiny little bits of fondant into a, um, a teardrop shape and then using your modeling tool just to create an indentation and that's going to give it the leaf look effect. I'm going to do quite a few of these just to stick in and around the bouquet itself. So for these flowers I'm actually going to tie a bow around the stems of the flowers. So I'm going to take some of my red mo uh, modelling paste and we're just going to roll out a really thin um, like a sausage shape and we're just going to push this into a bit of a wave and that's going to create the ribbon and then we're going to create the bow. So for the bow I've just create got some more of the modelling paste and I'm just going to roll it into sort of like a triangle shape. So take two um, pieces roughly the same size and just use your fingers to create the triangle, just pushing them in between each other. And then we're just going to use the stitching tool to create little lines in there. And then just a tiny little sausage shape that's going to wrap over the front of those to give the effect of the bow. 
for the next um, cupcake topper we're going to create a banner now I've chosen to write on this banner I love you but you can use any message that you want so just take some of your white um, fondant and we're going to cut out a, a strip and then we're going to use our knife or scalpel just to create lines on either side and this is going to create a sort of like a banner effect now for my banners I do like to use my stitching tool just to go around the edge I just think it finishes it off quite neatly and we're just going to stick this on with a little bit of water you don't want it to hang over too much because it will just flop down either side and here's the mould that I've got so actually I wrote on this one be mine again you can change the message if you want to and we're just going to stick these on with a little bit of water. I always like to start from the opposite side so that I can make sure that I've got enough room to fit everything on because if I do it the other way usually I run out of space or I have a whole heap left at one side. So I'm just using a little bit of water to take off any um, corn flour that is on there and I'm just going to stick some little hearts on the bottom I do like to leave them to dry overnight. I usually leave them on my foam pad and I put them in the position that I want them to actually go on the cupcake so that I remember the next day. As you can see, sometimes that can take me quite a while to get the right order in place. I think it's a little bit of OCD. I hope you liked this video. To see more of my tutorials, please click the links on the screen now. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future videos. Thanks for watching.